three temptations that Satan brought before Jesus. That's not my discussion tonight, but it's important that I address this. There are three temptations that Satan brought before Jesus. And every one of us will go through these three levels. The first temptation is turn stone to bread. Compromise of the use of power. Use it for your personal gain. Power has been given unto you, but you can turn that stone to become bread and use it to satisfy your hunger. Why will you be hungry and have the power to make bread? Because his life was governed by the will of God, not his desire. It is as the father wants, not as his belly wants. And Jesus said, no, the economy of the kingdom is built such that the true believer's life revolves around the will of God, not his desire. Are we together? Turn this stone to bread. I can manipulate ministry and use it for my own gain. But he says, no, the life of a believer, one who has been cultured by God, is thy will be done. Temptation number one. The second temptation that all great people go through is the temptation of carelessness at the point of spirituality. That was the second temptation. He took Jesus to a holy, the mountain of, I mean, on top of the temple. And here's what he told him, fall down. You cannot fall down when you're on the ground. You can only fall down when you're at the top. He says, fall down intentionally. After all, there is an immunity that comes with you it is written he shall keep his angels charge over you they shall bear you up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone who is quoting that scripture satan and jesus rebuked him every time you rise to the top that is always a temptation fall down there will be angels holding you and the third temptation had to do with influence and power. He took him into an exceeding high mountain. The Bible says he showed him the kingdoms and the glories of the world. He says, all this has been given to me. You just bow down. If this is the key you want to collect. Bow down. Why go through Calvary? Why go through the cross? You just bow to me. I don't need it. What I need is the loyalty and allegiance. You bow down. Since you are the express image of the invisible God. That would be God bowing to me. So you bow down and I can give you the key. Is someone learning now? This is very important. Every time you begin to make it, you need more prayers than those who are not making it. Did you hear what I said? The one who is succeeding needs more prayer than the ones who are failing. Hallelujah. And one of the ways that great people stay focused is that they do not overdwell on crowns and trophies. Once you give Jesus praise, enjoy the success, and tap yourself at the back, that is enough. And the next thing you keep moving. Is someone learning now? So congratulations for the many things that happened in 2023. I salute you for taking advantage of the word that has come from your pastor. I salute you for your diligence in hearing and listening. Now the word produced for you. But make sure you do not dwell. God still has great things for you this year. But you must be able to forget the things that are behind. Paul says, brethren, now you understand the scripture. I count myself to not have apprehended, but this one thing I do, he says, I forget the things which are behind. What are the things? I forget the miracles that I performed yesterday. I forget the prisons and the whips that I collected. I, I forget whatever it is. My encounters with Jesus, I preserve the experience for my growth. But I stop overdwelling there. Someone prophesy to yourself, say it's time to go forward. Say it again, it's time to go forward. That means you will stop overdwelling on the success of yesterday and the failure of yesterday. Both success and failure can achieve the same thing in your life. They can destroy. If Satan tries to use failure to destroy you and it does not work, he will use results. The most important thing is that you are destroyed. Are we together? Too much salt can kill. Too much sugar can kill. Any one of them. As far as Satan is concerned is that you eventually die from one. You get the example I'm trying to bring.
when he uses failure and you refuse to be discouraged he will allow you progress then he will meet you at the gate of the great and come with another kind of temptation and say why pray again you are a great man of God already why give again you're already a millionaire you are not struggling if you didn't have money I can understand why you are giving and sowing but now you've made it will a demon come and remove your money from your account Satan for you and you see the things you would not believe now by the time you make it to certain degrees you will believe it are we together I count myself to not have apprehended I forget the things which are behind then he now says I reach forth to those things which are before someone say before oh. prophesy to yourself say before that means there is always something before you whether or not you can see it there is always something before you a greater today a greater tomorrow in God's economy 2024 should be by far by far greater than 2023 can I prophesy over someone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by December this year you will stand shedding tears of joy because of the mighty things that God would have done in your life for someone though your beginning be small let me speak to you there is a grace that lifts men right from where they are to the place of grace and glory I speak that to your life I speak that to your finances I speak that to your ministry I speak that to your health in the name of Jesus Christ 